Hello, my fellow Virgos. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be doing a little energy reading for you. Um, I already shuffled for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. Let's see what's in your energy. I would like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, for those personal readings with me and just being here and giving me a good energy. There we go. First card out is stuck, taking captured, captured energy. I just heard, I've been so long. I'm missing you, baby. Been so long. All right, excuse the voice. Excuse the voice. This is Horizon Great Fortune and Change wanted to come out. Um, who, is this, who or what is this energy for Virgo? Kidnapped, stuck, captured. What is this energy for Virgo? Engineer in Don Juan. Okay. Engineer energy, ability to create energy, practical expression, talent for design, resolution to a common dilemma. Somebody, um, somebody here may be an engineer. They may have built stuff with their hands, um, be able to calculate things in their head, come out with outcomes, design resolutions for things. And then we have spotlight your positive seduction, seductive qualities. So this person has uh, seductive qualities. This could be you Virgo or this energy surrounding you you may be stuck on somebody who's like this or somebody like this could be stuck on you let's see where this is going tell me about this kidnapped stuck captured energy for virgo red hair brunette hair could be significant black hair brunette eyes hazel eyes i mean somebody could be really pale as well a bald head could be significant we have two redheads here showing up Okay, and then somebody who looks like Caillou. <clears throat> Construction may be significant. Somebody could um, walk with a walking staff. A pimp stick. A pimp stick could be significant. I just heard um, one of those college paddles. You know, there's like a short rowboat paddle looking thing and have it for like frats, maternities, maternities, uh, fraternities, those type of things. What is this energy for Virgo? Knight of Cups. In the King of Wands. Okay, so yeah, I feel like somebody is enthroned. Okay, I, I got the word enthroned. I don't know if that's an actual word. Um, somebody is like enamored. There it is, enamored. They're they're stuck. They're 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 taken aback by your energy with the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. This person wants to come towards you in some type of way. Um, they want to follow their heart and take control over something, but they're stuck. They're captured here. What's got them stuck? What's got them captured? I won't do it. Can't make me do it. Somebody can like wearing hats, dresses, high heels. The devil and the ten of wands in the reverse. Okay, so what's got them captured, what got them stuck is some type of obsession here, all right? Um, somebody is obsessed with your energy, obsessed with you in some type of way, except that something that involves you in some type of way. With the Knight of Cups energy, it often talks about courtship, love, following your heart. So this could be a love situation for you, Virgo, or somebody who's just like... They have like this idealistic, they want to negotiate, they want to mediate something with you. The devil card here though, somebody is obsessive about you. They think about you in excess. Um, they go to extremes about you. Ten of Wands in the reverse. This person is carrying the burden by themselves. Um, it's almost like they want to release this. They want to release the toxic energy around you um, or something that you're doing. Uh, Virgo, but they're stuck here. They're stuck. Tell me about this person for Virgo.
We have the Page of Wands and the Nine of Wands energy. They're getting some type of news that is harming them, that is hurting them. They're getting some type of message, um, reply, okay? They're getting some type of... They're discovering something that hurt them, Virgo. And it could be that you have turned their back, turned your back in some type of way that you're not responding to them in some type of way. The Knight of Wands energy. All right. Impulsive action. The Fool card. The Six of Wands and the Justice card here. All right. So about this person. They got some type of message um, about something here that caused them to be in their feelings with the Knight of Wands that feels like they're just like wounded, they're fatigued, they're beat up here. Um, with the Knight of Wands energy, this person wants to come towards you and take some type of action. They want to move based on this information. The full card, they want to move and have like a new beginning or take some type of risk here. Six of Wands for success and to balance something. Justice card here or to get some type of reward. Somebody is enamored. They're captured by your energy. They're obsessed here. This person has a talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. So this person is somebody who can usually figure out shit. Um, in a way that they can just get past things easily. But there's something about you, Virgo. Spotlights your positive, seductive qualities. There's something about this person where they have a talent for resolving dilemmas and seducing people. And it's not working with you. And I feel like this is why they're in um, a, a double energy. You see them in a different way than everybody else sees them. There's something here about this person's ego being bruised, Virgo. Them wanting to take the risk to, to to have some type of reward to fix the dilemma that's going on to their mind to 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 get you to do the things that they want you to do how they want you to respond in a certain way to their energy and you're not giving them that okay um you may have shut somebody down in some type of way told them some type of truth about themselves um and they did not like it Virgo this got them more obsessive okay this got them more toxic. Tell me how Virgo feels about this person. I'm still getting that Been So Long song. I, I can't do without you. Don't ask me to. Without you, Lord. You, Lord. Been so long. I'm missing you, baby. Excuse my voice, y'all. Uh, this is not a singer. This is, <laughs> I am not a singer. <laughs> um, but that song is coming to me. And I feel like it's been so long since, um, it's been a, it's been a minute. Okay. It may not have to be that long because we have wands energy. Wands is quick movement. Uh, but it may have feel like it's been so long for this person that you gave them some type of energy. How does Virgo feel about this person? The death card and the empress. You feel like ever since you changed, ever since you ended things with this person, you've been more abundant, okay? You've been better off without this person. You've been better off after you change. You've been better off after you transform something. With the Empress card here, I feel like you got your mojo back. I don't know why I heard um, mojo. Okay. Empress card talks about fertility, pregnancy here. The Two of Swords and the Hermit card. There's something that you're introspecting about this person. There's something that you're like, you're still questioning about this person. There's something you're investigating about this person. I feel like it's their true colors. It's who they truly are because this is the type of person that comes off as somebody who has a creative energy, somebody who can solve dilemmas, somebody who it seems like they have positive seductive qualities. Like they may tell you that they've been able to get people, they've been able to do things, things work out in their lives, but there's something that just doesn't align up with how you're seeing them, Virgo. You're introspecting about how this person has such an ego, has such a, a characteristics about themselves that doesn't align with, with the energy that you got from them, that doesn't align with uh, what you have learned about them, Virgo. There's something about this person and you're also questioning whether you should go ghost on this person whether you should stay um isolated from them whether you should 
stay away from this person in some type of way because I feel like there is this obsessive devil energy, all right? There's something off with this person in some type of way where you're just like, mm, maybe I should never go towards them again. Maybe I should never allow them in my energy again. But with the Empress card here, you could have connections with this person, okay? Two of Cups. And the Three of Swords. Do you feel like this person hurt your heart? Eight of Cups at the bottom. You already walked away, Virgo. All right. With the Two of Cups and the Three of Swords, do you feel like being in a relationship with this person would just cause you more pain and you would eventually break up with them anyways? Okay, so it's the energy of somebody here who usually can fix all the problems and seduce people back into getting in a, in a relationship with them. Or maybe they were able to do this to you in the past, but now you aren't falling for that shit, Virgo. You've introspected about this relationship in a way where you know this is not going to work. Um, excuse me. This is not the relationship for you in some type of way. Okay, why are you telling Virgo about this energy? I just heard I'll have you weak in the knees. Da, 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 da. I have you feel like I'll take Ellis. Da, 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 da. I hate when silly groupies try to run their mouth. Word to God, hun. I don't get down like that. Um, I forget what the name of that song is. But yeah, I feel like you may have ran your mouth about them, okay? You may have told them something about themselves that they didn't like. All right, music lyrics could definitely be significant. Look at the music notes here at the bottom. Um, you could have told some th somebody about themselves in a way where they didn't like it, Virgo. And they're telling you that they don't get down like that. They're not like that. Um, but you, what you have seen about this person doesn't align with the characteristics they want to uphold about themselves. What is this? Why are you telling Virgo about this energy? The Four of Pentacles. Somebody's still holding on. Yeah, captured, stuck, kidnapped energy. They're still holding on, Virgo. They got a grip. Um, they have not loosened this grip. The Ten of Cups. They're still holding on to the possibility of having some type of dream fulfillment, wish come true, long-term commitment, inner happiness, or just like some type of dream family type of scenario. Um, or just being happy here. Happy here. Even if you don't uh, can't be a family to hold on to family. Um, what is this energy? Why are you telling me? The lovers and the queen of wands. Who's the queen of wands? This person is wanting to hold on to their family and some type of lover here. It could be a side energy here. The queen of wands often comes up as a side piece. All right, somebody who remains independent but comes in with that sexual energy. Who's the queen of wands? Maybe that's the role that they want you to play, Virgo. The Page of Swords, who they're watching. Who they're watching. Page of Swords. Who's, who's the Queen of Wands? The Ace of Wands. Sexual energy. I can't make it up. Who's the Queen of Wands? The Nine of Cups and the Hanged Dragon. It'll be a wish fulfillment for this person to see a different perspective. The seven of pentacles in the reverse, but they had no results from this person, from taking control, from taking leadership with this person, the wheel of fortune, and the moon card. They don't know how this is going to turn out. Who's the queen of wands? The two of swords, the world card, the king of cups, and the high priestess. Okay. 
Okay, Virgo, two scenarios here. There could be a person here that's stuck and captured and enamored by your energy. They are holding on to some type of happiness energy with you, some type of choice option here with you while they're watching a Queen of Wands. All right, it's a wish fulfillment for the Queen of Wands to see something in a different perspective, but with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, they had no results. Um, it did not work with the Queen of Wands energy. I feel like the Queen of Wands did not want this person either. Okay, this could be you because I was getting that energy where you have already left them. Um, you're introspecting about never going towards them again. This could be your energy or this could be another lover here. Clarify the lovers. justice card the four of swords and the six of pentacles this is somebody who they uh, trying to manifest communication with to try to balance out something they're taking a break from this person a break in giving or receiving from this person definitely can be you virgo this is something they're trying to manifest all right um but i'm also getting like big third party energy i'm not gonna lie not gonna lie i feel like this person's love life is not working out in every aspect that they're going towards so they're trying to hold on to the family to the things they got which you maybe you have the emperor the king of swords the ten of pentacles the two of wands queen of pentacles and the empress the hermit there you are you left them out in the cold they see was a star virgo they regret something mm. okay well there's, there's somebody here in this energy virgo point of period they're captured they're enamored they're stuck on you because things aren't working out with them in any way all right i feel like this person I feel like this energy is you, Virgo. They're trying to hold on to the Ten of Cups energy, hold on to having something with you, but they see you being independent. They see you being on your own here. It had no results in taking control over the situation and changing something. With the Moon card, the Two of Swords, and the World's card, this person does not know. They have a fear of how this is going to conclude, how this is going to end with the King of Cups and the High Priestess. Somebody knows for a fact that they love you, okay? They're in love, but they're keeping them to the self. With the Lover card, we got the Magician, the Eight of Wands, the Justice card, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Somebody wants to manifest communication here. They want to talk, um, but you may be resting. You may be taking a break from communicating with this person, taking a break from giving them what they want in some type of way. Okay, what does spirit want you to know about this person? And we're out of here. What does the divine want you to know about this person? I just heard I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? She got her own house. She got her own. Maybe spirit wants you to keep keep your independence. Spirit wants you to know about this person. Three of Pentacles. The Devil. Ooh. Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Devil. Working with this person would only wound you. Working with this wounded, toxic energy. King of Pentacles in the reverse. The Page of Wands in the reverse, and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Working with this wounded, toxic ass energy will bring you nothing but bad news. Don't you ever bring me no bad news. You'd be creating own, your own conflict by working with this person. It would be aimless, Virgo. Um, with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, this is somebody here who is controlling um, a user. They also could be broke as fuck. All right, no money, non committal. Not a boss, not a father figure, not something that you want in your life anyways. 
This is not somebody you want to work with. This is why they stuck on your energy. You're the only one who can see them clearly, who sees their energy clearly, and they're mad about it. Virgo, this is what I got here for um, you. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to your channel to see what's coming up next to the Virgos. And don't get sucked into this energy where this person can put you in a basket and roll away. This is giving me the energy of like a contract, you sharing homes with this person, you putting something together with this person, letting them sign something, letting them have attendance somewhere, bringing them in your home, letting them go places with you. And sometimes there's something here where this person can put you in something and move around with you. All right. Um, don't get caught up. Don't get stuck. Don't allow this person to have control over your life. Keep that independence. I N D E it. D E P E N D E N T. Independent. Stay independent, Virgo. This is what I got here for you. Peace.